Yep. Like two, D four, black. Two. You okay there? Five. Working it all out, once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun, and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. 
But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to, and I'm sorry, but I can't help it. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. <laughs> what are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. Oh. I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Arthur? Try for a boat or not? Easy. Okay, fine. I say we do the canoe. I think it'll be faster. Uh, it, sure, sorry. I think my mine was someplace else. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. I'm just... It's been... Uh... There's the bridge. Let's go! Get a move on! What's wrong, Arthur? Let's go. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Ah. Why are you riding off on me? Well, I see one anyway. Oh, come on. I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall, the eagle flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. 
Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Put your creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? You'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. Probably won't miss him if we get him back by morning. Yeah. yeah. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. 
Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the carrying? Here is. MacArthur? You know that. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Might be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with.
Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with.
Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Go, go! from there.
this. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew got Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Okay. Thank you. That's mighty kind This is down. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Micah and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even... Get back to work. Yeah. You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you. Murderer. I don't know how many more mornings of this I can take. How you doing? Poor Molly. I don't believe it. Oh, she knew the rules. Let's hope for a better day. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Worried is all. 
I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Let's get. Just sit a while. They won't catch me. They won't catch me. And I promise. Whosoever stands by my side. Seen ducks like this. For sure. Stop stirring things, Abigail. Mr. Williamson? Arthur. Susan? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Here.
please, please. I can't feel my leg. Oh, God. I can't take this. Yep. Yeah.
What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, nope. strong liquor. Over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if 
anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Hello there.
Ought to help talking about that boy you got to the roads. Seems to have them all shook up. Surely not the first time. God almighty! How do you do, sir? Uh, hey there, partner. Hello there. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Hello. It's my turn to cheer the ball this year. I heard some screams from... Uh I can't even imagine what he's got down there. Well, ain't that just the limit? Hold your horses, won't be long. Ah, hello. Sorry, I, I don't have anything for you right now, but I'm working on it. Come back and see me later? Hello. Farewell. Hello, sir.
You are a sight to see. Whew. Raise up them hands and think of heaven. Tricks! Is there some problem?
I found him. Nicholas, fool. Hold him as high lest I get itchy. You move one more time, right, I'll drop you. Throw some balls and get in there! You go mighty quiet, pray into your God. Get on in there! Moving. Are you insane? Should have moved. To hell with you! Stop this sailor! Why are you so close? Excuse you.
Let's go, girl. Evening. Easy, girl. Okay, girl. One moment, please. This is extremely hey. delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? 
Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do. Uh, sure. 
Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. and Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
this shot.
brought you home. Deal. I got your moonshot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent no, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Excellent, excellent. Oh, just wonderful nothing all. Come on, girl. Excuse me.
Mister? My mistake. <clears throat> Ma'am? Evening. Good evening, mister. Hello, mister. Good evening, ma'am. <coughs> I tell you, life ain't easy. Hey, mister. You know, there's something about this place. <coughs> Hello, ma'am. I have to say, life is pretty good. Good evening. Hey there, partner. I've had better days, that's for sure. So welcome to our Damn humble place. What the huh? hell is your problem? I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Can I help you with something? What can I do uh, for you? Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Remind me when I joined the social club. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate, for humane dispatchment? I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Okay, girl. Saludos. Stop right there and face the law. Scooby-Doo. 
out of you! Shit, no! Jesus. You ain't gonna walk out of this town alive! Come on, please! I didn't take much! No! No, no! Damn you! be dread. I want to buy some new clothes, hillbilly. That son of a bitch deserves a noose. That's so. Hello? Could you not tell me, please? Hey, learn how to walk.
alive. Jesus! Howdy there. Welcome. Christ, you got the money to pay all that off? I'm shocked you didn't get jumped walking in here with that kind of price on you. Thanks, partner. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Ugh. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. Come on now. Please. 
No! Don't you dare keep me on this horse! Not exactly a happy union, I take it. Goddamn hillbillies. Yep. Yeah. Not again. Huh? Where's that horse got to?
I'ma shoot you down! Oh, there you go! Oh, shit! Just hold still! Oh, oh shit! You'll be all right! Hey, this camp ain't no damn guest house. What you want? Get out of my sight, now! Come on! You better make yourself a hair. go. It's okay, girl. Get up. Easy there. Easy. Good. Yeah.
Come on. Well, I got a special treat for you. Goddamn government cat, Paul. Thank <laughs> you. 